Hello, welcome. This is Technical 13, aka Shoemaker in some realms. Um, I've decided that I am going to take part in the um, geocaching challenge of the month. Um, I've just been, you know, just learned about this thing. Um, so let me give you a, a little summary of what it is this month. Let me play the video. Hey cashers, it's Look at Lisa and it is November 2017 and it's time for the Geo Challenge of the Month. So here in the Northern Hemisphere, we've got longer nights, colder days, and it is prime night caching weather. <laughs> so for the Geo Challenge of the Month, we'd like you to find a night cache. It could be any cache, you could also just find a regular cache, but it has to be at night. Bonus points though, if you do find an actual night cache. Alright Joshua, time to get to it. Hey geocaching friends, it is right. time. It is that time of the month again for the hashtag Geo Challenge of the Month. The Geo Challenge of the Month, Lisa from CacheAdvance.com issues me a challenge and then I in turn challenge you to complete that geocaching challenge. And I'm excited because today we're going to do something a little different, something that you normally don't see on my geocaching videos and that is I am going to find a geocache at night time. At night time. All right, so I started this morning, bright and early, around 5 a.m., and um, let's play the video. I was tired. Good morning. It's um, 5 a.m. here in northern New England, in the state of Maine, in the capital city of Augusta. And um, I'm going to go for the Geo Challenge of the Month for this month, um, November of 2017. Um, I've got... Oh, let me explain who I am. I am Technical13. I am fairly well known in the streaming community as a Dungeons and Dragons Online slash Lord of the Rings Online slash Factorio player. Um, I also do a lot of wiki editing and I am well known in the Discord community um, as I own multiple servers and multiple bots to manage those servers. Um, I've got 325s and 12 published hides at the moment. I've discovered at least 11 trackables. Um, We're going to skip ahead caches. a little bit here. When I started caching, there weren't a lot of caches in the area. And um, so I found everything there was and then forgot. We're going to skip through um, a little bit. So far, we've got a Here's little bit the Discord. over a dozen people. So if there you want to check out the Discord so go ahead for live chat, check that out. There's that link. link. I'm just going to pop the head. degrees Fahrenheit. Ah, here we go. It is... Uh, got two target geocaches. Um, the first one is called Atlantis. GC3R4EJ. Um, the logs look like it's been recently, well, it was found in September, and there's no DNFs, so that's one possible find. And then my backup is going to be called Arboretum, and both of, both of these are in or near the local Arboretum. It's about 1.5 mile walk from here, so I'm going to pause the video. Um, this one shows that it should be available as well. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video and do some recording on my mobile phone. Um, like I said, it's 5 a.m., it is currently, uh, if that loads, yeah, you won't be able to see it. It is, it's gone down to negative five. Negative three degrees Celsius outside. Um, for those Celsius impaired people, that equates to um, 27, six, Twenty six degrees. Twenty six degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a chilly morning here in Maine. Alright, so next video. Next clip. Lots of short clips. 
Oh. Okay. So, um, yeah. I was looking at the map, and there's actually a multi on the way to Ground Zero that I haven't, I haven't looked into yet. So I'm going to see if I can pick up stage one of that and see what the details are. Um, I am over halfway to the multi, so when we get within 100 feet or so, I'll start this back up. I will post links to each of those caches on the YouTube video right there. And there's the piggery pen. That's the multi. Like I said, I'll post a link up. Um, next video. All right, so I'm within... Oh, 75 to 100 feet. And um, let me flip the camera over here. All right, so it says I'm within 75 feet this way. So, lots of headlights in my face here. So there's this big metal cube here. I'm gonna guess that it's somewhere in there. Let's see if we can find it. This is a suspicious looking rock. Nope, not in there. Unless it was stuck to the frost on the bottom. Hmm. Where could it be? What's this? Looks like it could be it. Set the camera on my knee for a second. Now, if I remember correctly, that didn't work out too well, so we'll move on to the next video. Alright, so I don't have a lot of stuff to make it easier to see me at night. Let's open this up. here to the piggery yeah you can't see it I'll take a snapshot in a second yeah I forgot uh, let's see here we got some cords so I'm gonna have to plug these cords into my my CGO app for my LG G5 and we'll see the waypoint navigate to the next section no spoilers All right, so I plugged the cords into CGU, and it says it's going to be um, about a third of a mile walk. I'll be back. See if we can find stage two. Oop, looks like my video is missing. Why is my next video missing? Arboretum billboard. Huh. Take a picture of the billboard, but apparently, well, it's pulling it from my phone, so my phone is not cooperating, apparently. Let me see if I can find that image real quick. Alright, so here was the billboard that I walked past. I got a little bit of a, a flashbang in the middle there for the Viles Arboretum. Move this down to where it should be. Yeah. 
it changed temporary folders. All right, so. Let's see here, next. All right, so we're within 100 feet. Oh, I'm glad I turned my camera on here. Log on across the trail. Let's see here. Within 100 feet or so, let's see. I've been out in this area before, I just didn't know there was a cache here last time I was in the area. So, I know there's actually like an old foundation with a bunch of rods in it that used to be the old piggery. And I'm going to guess it's near there because I'm not that far away from that. Let's see if I can find that. Alright, so... I went the wrong way. I see something up ahead. It was a stone bench. It is. I realized it went the wrong bench. way. So let's play the next video. Okay, so due to having the camera on, I um, missed my turn. Apparently it was off trail. So I've navigated to the area. And... Um, I'm not sure what the other video is over here. there. Actually, let me just do this. And um, I came across this pipe, this suspicious looking pipe that appears to move when touched. So I'm going to guess this is the cords to stage three. Let's have a look. Ah, so that's what was supposed to be there. That was when I pulled the top of the pipe out. That's what I got. Okay, so the next stage is actually up past the two traditionals that I originally came out here to get. Let's see if I can pick them up on the way to stage three. So Atlantis was the first one I came across. Okay, so um, within about 25 feet of the target, and my geo senses are going crazy. Let's do a scan, see what I can see. A tree there. Oh, I see that I'm running low on time. The um, sun is coming up on the horizon. The um, steam is coming off my breath, which is what you see the white stuff in the camera. Um, let's look around here. Let's see what we can find. What's this? A wild cache out in the open, exactly as I found it. So let's have a look here. This is Atlantis. This is an actual cache, not part of the, um, the multi-cache. There's a, a log book. This is the cache that actually qualified me for finding a cache at night. That's not good. I'll have to throw that away. Let's see here. It was thrown away. An information card about gas. A band-aid. Always good to have a band-aid in your cache in case somebody gets a boo-boo. Somebody's been to the land and sea tours. Cool. Picture of a couple of girls hanging, apparently. A whole bunch of stuff in here. A couple coins, a tampon. I guess you never know when you're going to need one. Let's see here. That was that cool. acorn that I threw out. No idea how I got in there. Move but... on to the um, next stage of the. Um... Please don't put rocks or regular Multi rocks or sticks or acorns or things of that nature in caches. Now, let's see here. All right, the logbook has been signed and the cache is being left just as I found it. That actually completes the challenge, um, and the sun is coming up, so 
let's see if we can get the next stage of the multi cache. There, so um, sun's coming up enough that I don't have to use light anymore. Although, I guess it doesn't hurt to add a little bit of light. Get that I'm taking my boots off. Um, I'm within about 50 feet or so, so I should be able to almost see the cache by now. It's much harder to do at night. Um, right over this way, let's take a look and see if we can find. This is supposed to be the third and final stage of the cache. I will share the cache page as part of this video when I do my editing. So it's supposed to be a small cache. Let's see if we can find it here. This is in a, a, a very remote area that will not be bothered at this time of day. So I can talk and I look around pretty freely. Let's see if we can find this cache here. I'm going to pause this video and um, see if I can find the cache. Terrain's getting kind of branchy with some blowdowns from a recent storm at the beginning of the month. Okay, so, I believe I have found the cache somewhere in this rock pile. I took another look at the map and um, compass, and it pointed me another 30 feet over this way. I had wandered away from ground zero, and the cache is somewhere in here. So, let's take a look around. The sun still hasn't quite come up yet. What's this? What's this? Looks like a cache to me. Looks like a medium or a regular size cache. Nice lock and lock container. I'm gonna try to leave it as undisturbed as possible. Open it up. What's it say on the inside here? Geocache site, please read. Awesome. Got a, a log book. Gotta love the log book. Not sure what that little gold leaf leaf is. A watch, some thread, a little bit of swag in here. Most most swag in this state tends to get a little bit musty and moldy. Uh, not uncommon. Got a couple of wooden nickels here. Some pens and pencils. So this will um. Kind of the multi cache for the day, and the sun still quite isn't up over there, so I'm gonna see if I can get the third cache in the area while I'm here. All right, so started heading over there, and I got within 40 feet or so, and pile of sticks over here leaning up against the tree kind of set my geo senses into a little tizzy here tizzy and it looks like with good that's reason that's a main word and this is the third cache and well it's getting pretty light out now so it's right at the at the dawn the sun has not quite made it over the horizon yet which is in that direction so i'm gonna sign this log Head back home, compile all these videos into one video, post it up on YouTube, and send it to Josh, the geocaching vlogger, for my entry in November 2017's contest. Um, good luck to everybody else. And um, I'm kind of glad that I wore my boots, because um, it was quite wet in some places. I walked through some two, three inch deep puddles and... Mostly frozen over marshes, but not quite, and my feet got kind of frosty. So, that wraps up that. Um, thank you for watching my submission to the... Um, November 2017 Geo Challenge, um, Caching at Night, or Night Caches. Um, there, unfortunately, aren't 
many night caches in Maine, and I don't drive, so I had to do caching at night instead. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm hoping to do more of these in the future. Thanks for watching.